Hi, this is Debbie with Cheyenne Life, coming back at you with a video about an update on the plants. Um, as I left off in my last video, I believe most of my melons had not come up yet, as well as a few other things, so I just wanted to go ahead and give you an update on those. I'm sure that uh, there are people out there that are wondering, what's happened with your plants, considering that I had so few that were up at the time of the last video. Uh, most of my tomatoes and things like that were, were up and well established. However, I didn't have any peppers up at the time because they do take a lot longer to come up, especially if you don't do growing lights and you only have a south-facing room. So, this is the assorted color bell peppers that I have. And as you can see, I have five out of the six so far that have came up. And are well on their way. Actually, it looks like I have a six there. So I think I double planted these. So I do have six that are up. And I think there's 12 plants all together in here. Um, so, so far we're just waiting on the other ones to come up. Maybe another one right there. So we're getting a good start on those. I haven't seen anything as far as like hot peppers or the other smaller sweet peppers that I have. Um... So we'll wait to see. Those were store-bought uh, seeds, and sometimes the store-bought seeds will not come up because some of them are inoculated or as they do with a lot of bananas and things like that that you get at the store and peppers as well, is they will put them in a gas chamber, and that will sometimes keep them from being able to sprout. The gas chamber helps them to ripen um, because a lot of the produce that's brought in, like bananas, is not ripe when they come in and they put them in the gas chamber to keep them um, from getting too ripe too quickly and it slows down the process even though they're still getting ripe in there. Um, I did have 100% germination on the yellow pear tomatoes and I did double plant those so now you can see all of those little plants there. And I do have my watermelon coming up now. These are the Charleston Grays. So one so far has came up and I'm seeing a little bit of some action on the soil and a couple of the other spots. So at least we'll have three. These were very, very, very old seeds that I had in a pack, um, probably six years old now. So I was surprised I even had one come up, but it looks like I will have at least three. No action as of yet on the eggplant because again, that was the last thing that I had planted. So I'm not expecting that to come up for a while yet still. Um, this is my daughter's borage. We have four out of the six so far. They've been a little bit staggering on when they come up. So um, I not, wouldn't be so too surprised if the other two do come up just a little bit later. On the acorn squash, I had all six come up. So 100% germination there. And these, this was actually acorn squash seeds that I had saved. Uh, myself so I was uh, quite surprised that I had 100% germination but I'm very glad of that all of the crests came up and this is my daughter's crest I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of crests um, or at least I just don't think about it I guess so all of that came up um, I think she planted it a little bit too thick but that's okay um, sprouts are just fine as far as putting into a salad or something I had 100% germination on my Paris Island lettuce, and it'll be spindly like that for a little while. Um, so I'm not too worried about that once it gets out in the, uh, and I'll probably actually replant those in just the straight ground in case these stay spindly. So I'm not too worried about that, honestly, because I have plenty of those seeds. I think I have five or six packs of those. And then it's, this is my snowball cross cauliflower and uh, I have a few of those up already these were one of the last ones that were planted so some of them have not came up as yet so those will be like the broccoli over here they'll kind of look like that until they go outside and then they will completely change so not to worry about those that's the broccoli And then here is the Super Sauce Tomatoes, another picture of those. They are still doing great. This was the second run of the Super Sauce. 
and those plants are now getting pretty big. And that was the transplanted fuchsia that had taken roots. I'm a little worried about that one, but I do see some new leaf growth right there on the end. So that one is, oh, and there's some new, new, new leaves right there. If it will focus in, as you can see right there on the joints. So that one is doing okay. And then there's the third one. So we'll have at least three new fuchsia plants there. A couple more of the super sauce tomatoes. These were the first seeds that I had planted and um, they're pretty good size now in comparison with some of the other things. And as you can see, I've started removing some of the lower limbs and leaves and things like that because they will lose those bottom ones anyway, naturally. A lot of these plants, um, the tomatoes that is. And there is my straight eight cucumbers still doing very well gotten their um, third and fourth leaves now and I did go ahead and replant one I believe it was just to make sure that I have a sixth one come up and that would be this back cup that did not have one come up I had five out of the six on that so I just go went ahead and replanted the sixth seed and on the Armenian cukes did the same thing I had one in the middle in the front that had died back that was a very weak plant even though I had 100% germination. So I went ahead and uh, replanted that one. The two white pumpkins are still doing wonderfully as well. Not spindly at all. They're just, uh, just being pumpkins. And I did have one of the Tuscans Extra Sweet come up. I had two, but the second one was a weak plant as well. So I went ahead and took that one out and replanted three more seeds in here just to make sure that the other three come up. And then these are the other run of seed tra cups and trays that I had done. And I had almost 100% germination on all of my squash. Up here I had one cocazelle that has not came up as yet, so I may go ahead and replant that one. And again, that was not my seed. This was seed that had came from um, a pack that I had gotten. So most of my own seeds that I had saved, I had 100% germination on. So the Cocosella I did not. I had gotten that one in a pack. So I will go ahead and probably uh, put in another seed just to have a third one of those come up. Um, the yellow straight neck is still coming up. As you can see there, there's a little mound there and there. So those, not too worried about. I'll have plenty of those. The butternut squash is seed that I had saved. And uh, this was also, again, a store-bought um, butternut squash that I went ahead and saved the seeds on and then planted. So as you can see, I had two out of the three come up. So I'm going to go ahead and replant another one of those seeds because obviously they will come up. And that was a store-bought non-organic, uh, non-GMO seed. So we'll go ahead and try that one. And on my red curry squash, this was also seed that I had saved. And um, I did not get that uh, red curry at a store, but I did get it at um, a friend gave me the red curry squash. So I went ahead and saved the seeds on that. And I had five out of the six come up. So I'm going to go ahead and replant one there. And this is the Tahitian squash. And so far I have two out of the three that came up. So I'm going to go ahead and plant a third one right there just to make sure they come up. And that was, again, a, a squash that a friend of mine had given me. So that was not a store-bought squash. And let's see what we have going on in this second a uh, younger tray of stuff. I'm still not seeing anything on the golden midget watermelon. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm just going to leave these in a little bit longer. And maybe go ahead and set up a, another tray of just the golden midget watermelon. Just to make sure that I have some come up. On the banana squash, I've only had one out of the six come up. This is again the Etsy seeds. So I'm a little disappointed in the germination on those. I'm hoping that there will still 
be something you show up because that plant is very large, but it only came up three days ago. So I think we still got some time on the pink banana squash, but I may go ahead and start another run of those just to be sure. And kind of the same story on my Chernois, I think it's called, um, cantaloupe. I've had two so far out of the six come up. Or actually three come up, so I've got half germination. So I'm hoping the other ones will come up because these just started coming up. They always take a little bit longer than squash does. And then I've got some of my white Crenshaw melons that are coming up, so it looks like I have a second one there. So I've got two out of the six so far, so I'm hoping the other ones come up. My partner really loves um, the Crenshaw melons. I'm not a huge fan, but he likes them. And I did have one of the Sakota or Sakata sweet melons come up so far. So I'm hoping these other two come up. Look, looks like we've got one right there. So that should uh, be something interesting to grow. I've never grown those before. I had all three of my tender green burpless cucumbers come up and that are doing really wonderfully. And all of my black creme tomatoes, tiny Tim tomatoes, and the ox heart and the sun sugar came up. So looking great there and all of my golden acre cabbage which i've never had an issue with those seeds coming up have came up and even through this snow by the way with the ones that i did plant outside they made it through that snow just fine and even the 20 degree temperatures so far and we will see if they make it through tonight tonight is supposed to be down on like 18 degrees so i will cover them up and hope they make it through but they should be just fine. And I wanted to go ahead and update you on the plants in my foyer because I had to bring a bunch of my plants in with the cold weather. And they are still, all still doing wonderfully. That is the rhubarb that I have. And the blueberries are actually blooming. So now I'm kind of in a catch-22 because I wanted to put these um, out along our fence line with blueberries and raspberries but actually the blueberries and raspberries both are blooming so if I go ahead and transplant them now it's probably going to kill off any fruit that they have but that's kind of the case when you transplant um, those kinds of plants you can only, you can expect to get a harvest from those probably two to three years into planting them outside so still all of our pansies and dianthus and all of our flowers are still doing really, really well. And they're just sitting in my foyer right now waiting to go outside. And my artichokes are still doing just fine. I did have the basil that was in that artichoke container die out. So it's probably the roots from the artichoke that did that. Um, and I will go ahead and replant that outside once the weather comes uh, to fruition. And my daughter has some garlic here that's coming up. And nothing on the sweet peppers as yet. So we shall see on that. The chamomile, of course, has not came up because it takes a really long time for it to start taking off. And the thyme has not came up yet. Uh, kind of the same thing with thyme. It does take a little bit longer to come up. And then I had over here a parsley... Well, this is one of the plants that I had from a series of parsley plants that I had planted five years ago. And I went ahead and pulled one sprig up because my daughter wanted to have some herbs. So stuck that in a pot for her for parsley, and it's doing great. Um, the bottom leaves kind of died off when it was transplanted, but now the top part is beautiful. So that is how all the plants are doing and all of the seedlings that have came up so i hope everyone's doing well wherever they are like subscribe hit the notification bell if you want to get notices on new videos as they come out we'll have a bit more of a tutorials and things like that once the season gets going really well here in cheyenne wyoming so hope to see you in the next one